friends, this is Sophie at Stuthi's Cuisine. Hope you all are fine by the grace of God. Today is a lovely weather. Uh, it was sunny earlier. Uh, I thought of doing the video close to the waterfall, but there's so much of noise there, so I wanted to come closer to a little further away from it. Today's recipe is a very special recipe and it's from Philippines. It's come straight from Philippines. The name of the recipe is called Hanset. Hanset is a dish that is made out of noodles. It can be any branded noodles. I have taken vermicelli, the rice noodles, because I feel that goes well with the pan set I'm making. You get many other brands like the Canton noodles, the Bihan noodles and so many other noodles. So it depends on each one's liking. So it can be made with vegetables and with meat. So and it can be mixed and made with both. So I have made it with meat and also vegetables. And it's a wholesome food. It's usually served in parties, kitty parties, in gatherings, and people just love to have it. I was introduced to this pan set by one of my colleagues. Uh, she used to get it and the whole tray used to vanish in no time. It was so nice and tasty. So uh, I wish you also would like to watch this and make it yourself. So let's go through the ingredients and watch the session. I'm taking is Y High noodles and it's the oriental style. It's instant noodles, vermicelli noodles. Okay, it's rice vermicelli. It's around 500 grams. The meat I took chicken. I have already boiled the chicken in a little garlic, onions, and pepper. And I have a little stock to it and so that I can saute it. Okay, so I hope you all can see it. You see? Okay, so this is ready and I'm going to shred it in no time. And I'm also taking hot dogs which is sliced and kept. We need garlic, okay? So we need onions which I have sliced and kept. I've put one small, maybe one fourth cup of um, uh, spring onions and these are all vegetables which I have sliced and kept a little just to show you all. And that is different uh, colored capsicum, yellow, orange, green and red, cabbage, cauliflower, Carrots, beans, yeah, you can put any vegetables you want. And even if I get or see any vegetables in the fridge, I might just mix it. The sauce we need is uh, the soya sauce. It's fish sauce, if it's not mandatory, only if you want to put this. And you just put just half a teaspoon or one fourth of a teaspoon, okay? And you use olive oil. I've got it already in my uh, bottle that is filled. You need salt and you need pepper. That's it. So let's go. So here I'm soaking the noodles in warm water for two to three minutes and I'll take it out and put it in the sieve to drain. Okay, I've put this wok on fire. It's on high flame now to make it hot. I'm going to put my olive oil. Uh, there's no particular measurement for uh, the vegetables and meat. You can just eyeball and put any quantity you want, but it has to be proportionate to the noodles you're mixing in. So I have taken one full packet of noodles, soaked it in warm water and I've drained it and kept it aside. So now I'm going to, I've just cut so much of my um, onions so that uh, I'll be putting it, the red and the white onions together. Right. So I'm going to put some of it. Okay. Yes. Garlic and pepper. So actually, let's and I'm going to copy my sausages. Okay. And the sausages has its own. Um, a little bit of salt. Okay. So each and everything as you're sauteing it, just see that you put some garlic, onion, uh, pepper, and a tiny bit of salt because we're going to add even soy sauce. Okay, so just be careful if you're not careful, don't add the salt. You can add it last. So just saute it in high flame, okay? This is already cooked, 
So you need not, you know, just keep on cooking it. It's already cooked. Just see that it nicely blends with the oil, the garlic, and the onions. So you pick it out. Okay. Onions, okay. Garlic. Okay. Okay, this is my uh, uh, shredded chicken. So now I'm cutting 800 to 1 kg. And after shredding it so much. Okay. Just cut it for 2 minutes and we'll take it out. Uh, this chicken I got it was uh, the legs along with the thighs. So I cleaned it and uh, boiled it with onions, garlic, pepper. And uh, just uh, cook it for some time. And I, and I have to stop. So I can make it have a stop too. So that's enough for now. Okay, so I'm going to take it out. I'm cooking it all on high fire. You see now, even the onions are all, you know, not very mushy, but it's, it should be nice and, you know, crunchy, but yet it should be cooked. Okay, so here it is. Next, let's talk with this. I fire it's infused with the oil. So I'm going to put the carrots. Okay. Carrots take some time to cook. So you can either put the stock or the water. We just want it to be cooked, but we want the crunchiness of it, okay? Because we are again going to put it along with the noodles. So I've taken the carrots, okay? Next, okay, put it on high fire. Put some onions, garlic, salt, and pepper. Then put some water. So we are finished cooking the, the sausage, the chicken, and the carrots. And now we have put the beans. Taken out the beans. Next, capsicum. Color capsicum. And water for capsicum. And we want it nice and crunchy. Just cut it on high fire and take it out. And now we are taking the capsicum out. Okay, it's nice. You don't. You just need the rawness to go, and it should be crunchy. Okay. Next. Put some more oil because the cauliflower is some oil. Now we start with it. How beautiful it is. Wow. The colored onions, the red onions, the crushed pepper. This has to get a little bit cold, so I'm going to put some water in it. It has to be just cooked. Okay. For some time. Okay. And this is the drained. Uh, vermicelli which I got it's rice vermicelli it's very nice I just soaked it in two minutes and you know warm water it's so good it just kept ready for me to mix it my cauliflower is done it's just right so here it is and by the way I forgot to put my yellow capsicum so I'm going to put my yellow capsicum put this see here it is I'm taking out the capsicum see all the colors see it looks so wonderful so now comes the Cabbage. There are different types of cabbages. You should know the cabbage and the type of cabbage you are sauteing. You're not cooking it actually, you're just sauteing it. That's enough. The cabbage. I'm going to take it out. So here it is. So I've got some more of my onions that are sliced. So I'm going to even just saute it along with garlic, some salt, and pepper. I'm going to put some soya sauce, one tablespoon. This is the fish sauce. Just put a drop. Okay, not much, just a drop. Which it enhances the flavor. It won't get the taste of the fish at all. I'm going to take it out. I've got some stock which I'm putting it here. And I'm going to put the noodles. So this is the stock I'm putting. I'm just going to close it and keep it high fire for about three minutes. What you have to do is just mix it. This is the hardest part, so you have to be just patient. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put in all the vegetables. So it's good for you know kids who do not have vegetables. You can give it to them. They all will relish it. Onions. It looks so nice. The hot dog and the chicken. So we put the chicken last. Let's uh, mix this. Okay, so we have to mix all this. I'm going to switch off the fire and mix it this way with two ladles or spoons. Okay, so you take it from inside right from the water and that's how you mix it. Okay. 
get that all on the top. You see? This way. And then it will all get mixed. See? So beautiful it looks. You need a big sort of a wok. This is the largest I have. Put some soya sauce. Just sprinkle a little bit. Not much. Let's mix it. Wow! My chicken is there. My chicken is waiting. Oh, that looks really so good, isn't it? So here, I'm going to just again sprinkle with the sausages, onions, and uh, chicken. I'm going to just mix it once again so that it just goes everywhere inside too. When you put celery, it's very tasty too. I had it in my fridge, but I can't find it where it is. And I'm going to again put my hot dogs and my chicken. I want to finish my chicken. So that's it. Capsicum, the vegetables. One more last thing, and that is spring onions. Let's decorate it with the king of onions. <laughs> looks so pretty. Pretty, pretty. Lady pants it. Okay, it's done. Very good. Let me dish it up, okay? Let's put the cauliflower. Okay, that's for decoration. Oh, wow. That looks really so gorgeous. King of flowers. Okay. And everybody's going to have one piece of cauliflower. It's a good vegetable. Okay, that's it. Let's close it. So here's my dished out item that's pan set. But I'm going to have it with a hot soup. Okay, so let me taste my soup first. It was, you know, with my um, chicken stock. Oh, it's so refreshing with all the vegetables in it. I made a nice soup. It's nice and hot, see? With, I've put some egg also in it. Okay, I'll show you all this another time. But it's a pan set that is the item of today. And here it is. Doesn't that look nice? I'm just going to taste and see how it is. Okay. Mm. It's so good. So crunchy. All the vegetables and the chicken is well marinated and I get the taste of all the spices that is put in. Fantabulous. It's one of the dishes which um, people take for potlucks and for kitty parties and for big parties, whatever it is, people love this because it's not very pungent, but not very spicy. Probably you can have even vinegar and um, chilies in it if you like to or with a little Filipino lemon. I think I will have a little pickle that is my watermelon rind in this. It will really go so tasty. My next serving I'm going to have it. So here's my watermelon rind pickle. Should go well with it, you know, I love it. See? Mm. Oh my god, it's so good. Mm. You all must try this pickle, it's very good. You may not throw the rind, you know. Only thing, it has to be made fresh. And that's what I did. And there's more recipes coming with what you have to throw and you can make use of it, okay? Bye and have a great day. Enjoy your summer. Hope you all have enjoyed it. Keep sharing. Subscribe if you haven't. Keep cooking and spread the word around. Okay, don't forget to tap the bell button. Thank you for watching and have a great day.